Hundreds of people in Casey County flooded into the local high school gym today to say goodbye to a beloved senior, the school district's second major loss in just a week. 17-year-old Jordan Watson was killed in a motorcycle crash on November 2nd. Alex 18's Mike Valenti has this remembrance. Karen Black says when her great nephew Jordan Watson died last week, he took a piece of her heart with him. It's devastating. Um, the shock is somewhat letting up and uh, the grief is beginning now. Um, the family is holding up as well as they can, uh, but we just miss him so bad already. Black says Jordan had a heart of gold, raised with love, who grew up to share that love with everyone he met. One person said they had went through the drive through at a restaurant and they got up to the window and they said, your meal's paid for and they looked back and it was Jordan and he was waving at them. So that's just the kind of young man he was. She says Jordan was the type who never met a stranger. And today, those who had never met him paid their respects at his funeral. A sea of motorcycles filled the Casey County Middle School parking lot a fitting tribute to Jordan, who was passionate about bikes. These people have come through the line, the visitation line, and they didn't even know Jordan. Um, so that tells you the type of people that they are. They're good people. And Black says Jordan would be overwhelmed by the turnout today. If only he were here to see it. In Casey County, Mike Valenti, LEX 18 News. The funeral for Brooklyn Clements, the other Casey County student killed in a crash last week, will be held this week. Visitations will be held at the McKinney Brown Funeral Home tomorrow from 4 to 8 and Tuesday from 8 to 3. Her funeral will be held Tuesday at 5 o'clock at the Casey County High School gym. Visitors are welcome to arrive beginning at 4.